Oh, okay. All right. Oh, Ooh, that was weird. Welcome back, guys, to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Um, in the last episode, we did things. I'm not really sure what those things were because it's been a little bit. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking if we can. Okay. I think what we're gonna do right now is going to go in a. We're gonna go in and crash, crash, or air, cr air crash. Excuse me. Words are hard right now. Um, we're going to attempt to get that second gym, uh, but I kind of don't remember how to get it, so we're going to see what happens. Alright guys, so what I've decided is that we are not going to go into air crash. I think we have to get that gym later. So we're going to go into a new themed level called the Eel Deal. Woo! Now, for some reason, when I was booting up this game, or when I was first, like, I hit record, and then, um, here, let me use, one thing that we have to do in this level is, uh, take out fan blades. Exciting, I know, right? And, anyway, when I was booting up this recording, when I first started recording, for some reason, circle was... My button for jump and L1 was my button for spin the spin attack. I have no idea why, but you know that's just how it was. And I, I mess around with my settings, but it's all fixed now. Thank goodness. I mean, I could have lived with it, but it was it was a little weird to be quite honest. We got a branching path here. Uh, I'm not sure which way to we should be going, but whatever. You know, I'm actually gonna go right first. I'm gonna go right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, well. This room is pretty daunting. I mean, why would you ever want to go through here? Well, if you shimmy your way past the nitro crates. This is. It's almost like they're guarding something. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. Oh, well, well then. Huh. Looks like that was a fake wall. Uh, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, I probably should have anticipated the L there. Uh, anyway, yeah. Nice little trickery there. Uh, I do not remember if I ever figured that out on my own or if I looked it up. Um, <laughs> so, I can't really say if I figured that out on my own and I died to a thing. Whatever, whatever that thing is, it has spikes on it. It's like a mouse, but it's like like one of engine's evil creations and these are like the evil vacuum cleaners as if someone ever needs to like vacuum on a sewer a sewer yes a sewer ah! well we're back to where we were when we died kind of almost i'm gonna very cut okay Alright. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, we got the green gem. Cool. Oh, we have to walk back out. Alright. Yeah, I didn't really remember, um... What was along the secret path. Uh... Because this one and the other... Level that follows this theme kind of blends together. Oh, uh, there's... I mean, spoiler alert, there's something else special in this, uh this other themed level, which is why I was a little bit confused at first. Now anyway, we're going to try to make our way back out. This is getting chased out of here. This is going to be interesting to get back through the nitro crates, because the camera is not your friend. All right, I'm going to go. Okay. It's so weird to have him pass through, like, a solid object like that. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Oh, my goodness. This is not easy. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, continuing along this path. Let's see what else we can find. Hopefully we don't die to these eels. Okay, we got it. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hit this checkpoint here. Now we're gonna go to the bonus round. This bonus round is... Cool. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Even though we hit the checkpoint, the bonus round will still be saved. I think, I'm hoping, at least. Go. 
I'm gonna hit this. And is there something up there? Oh, there's no way to check. Yeah, I can't bounce that high. All right, fair enough. I thought maybe there'd be something special if we could get up there, but we cannot. It's too high for us. All right, that's taking too long. <laughs> Just gonna... <laughs> I don't think we really need lives, so we're good. Is that it, really? Nothing over here? All right, whatever. Oh, gotta load. It's like the first time it loaded. I had to load something this time. You know what would actually make the loading times, like, very, very minimal? Is if, um, I <laughs> just rip the freaking, um, ISO file off the, the CD. It would load a lot quicker and we wouldn't have these problems. I just realized that. Uh, cause this emulator has the ability to do that. Hold on, let me see what's in the other direction. Let me see what's in the other direction real quick. Okay, I'm gonna watch out for that barrel. There's a lump of fruit leading this way. Oh, there's a crystal. Oh, good thing we did go this way. <laughs> that would not have been good to miss, cause we would have got to the end of the level and be like, we missed so many boxes and we don't even have the crystal. So yeah. Good thing we went that way. Yeah, I thought this uh, this level would take a lot longer because I knew the green gem was in here. I thought it just had a complete alternate path. I didn't think that um, it would... Well, that happened. That looks like the end of the level almost over there. Let's see, this is completed, right? Yeah, it's completed. Okay. Um, fan blades. <laughs> Fan blades again. <laughs> Alright, we got this. Yes! Okay. Alright. We got this. I am going to get these boxes now. <laughs> As if you guys couldn't have already tell. Couldn't already tell. Alright, I'm, I'm just, it's instinct to just check this, this thing is even solid, because I don't really remember that much. Alright, we're going down. Alright, we got this. Some of you guys might remember these types of seconds, sees sections from Crash Bandicoot 3. Well, at least, I mean, you would have played the game. I played that game first, so this kind of really, really reminded me of that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and... That door looks weird. It's like phasing through the platform. But anyway, it's the PS1. It's forgivable. Uh, make sure you don't fall or you're gonna get, uh, burned on the hot pipes. Because for some reason they're, uh, they're hot in the bottom. And those enemies kind of remind me of, uh, uh, enemies from Crash Bandicoot 1. Anyway, we're done that level. That wasn't too bad, actually. Hmm. Oh, we I know what we can do. Might as well just do it. Not bother seeing the next episode. We're only at 10 minutes. We could probably do that in another level. So, uh, I should cancel this dance, but it is too awesome, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, what next? I knew we had a message coming up. What is it? Come on, Cortex. Yes. Oh, dang. Don't get to hear more. <laughs> Don't get to hear more of your speech. He's counting on us. Are we that trustworthy? I think we are. 35%. Stuff just fell <laughs> when he was talking. All I wanted was a drink of water, and of course, something stops us on our way to the next warp room. Who is it? Well, these guys are called Komodo Mo and Komodo Joe. And don't ask me which one's which, because I think I think Joe is the skinnier one, because he was in Crash Bandicoot Racing, Crash Team Racing, and Mo was not. Anyway, they're the Komodo brothers, uh, just K Bros. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him. And yeah, oh, I uh, got hit. <laughs> Oops. 
Yeah, they're uh, very skilled swordsmen. Or at least Komodo Moas. Uh, I feel like these guys would, like, fit in well with the sewers. And you don't want to charge him or else you're gonna, he's gonna, like, hack and slash at you when you get close to, a uh, Mo. Hit <laughs> him, knocked him over with his butt. <laughs> so really, this is not hard at all, to be quite honest. <laughs> like, I've, I've played this before, but really, this is not that bad. Oh, okay, he's making it a little bit more challenging with throwing swords at us now. It'd be funny if, like, he had his own, uh, his partner. Yep, knocked over with his butt. That was easy. It's gotta load the dance, gotta load the epic dance. <laughs> Look at that face. That blank, vacant stare. She was like, fuck you. <laughs> He's like, you did this, you did this to us. Why? Oh, here we go. We're in the sewers again. Plant food. We've got a yet another message. I don't think it's... Oh, it is from Cortex. Huh, conservative power there, eh, buddy? <laughs> oh, yeah. The world is counting on us. Uh, one thing I will have to say, uh, I am looking forward to this level, Road to Ruin. Um, I like that theme a lot, actually. Uh, we're gonna have to wait a little bit to get into that, so you guys are gonna have to wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just how it works, okay? We gotta go in numerical order. Uh, what, the, what is the name of this level? Plant food. Oh, this is our third, uh, third level with this theme. I think, I'm pretty sure this is the last, uh level with this theme. And, uh, I don't know if this level is really worthy of having three different levels, or if this theme was worthy of having three different levels, but whatever, at least we got a vehicle. Oh, well, I know how we're getting the second gem in this level. I, I was going to check to see if, like, check it, but. anyway, we're going to do a time trial run later. First, we're going to do the actual run where you get the crystal in the all the boxes and stuff. And we're going to <laughs> carefully navigate through this area. Woo! Alright, we're good. Gonna need a mask for a uh, second run through. Yeah. Come at me, brother. We ain't no plant food. No. Hopefully that box counts. <laughs> kind of blew off off screen. Blew up off screen. Well, I died in the bonus round. It's okay. No lie. It reset our time? What? Oh. Ooh, I know a cheat code. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not a cheat code, but that is that is helpful, actually. Because it doesn't count as an actual death. Oh, my goodness. That is a bug. But I will use that bug to my advantage. Oh, my goodness. I did not know about that at all. We are going to use that. I'm sorry, we're going to cheat. Just kidding. We're not going to cheat, but we're... <laughs> that is interesting. That is very, very interesting. We could use that, but I think I'm going to do an actual run of this level. Or attempt that. That is interesting. Oh, oh, that happens. Yeah, careful with the speed boost. And here's the crystal already. Oh, this is going to be a short level. I'm going to just jinx myself. I'm going to die like ten times before the end now. Yeah, you got to go over here to uh, get these boxes. Don't just... Don't just jump on those, uh... That hovercraft thing. Got to get the boxes first. Yeah, let's go on the hoverboard. Water hoverboard. Did you know you got... They're, um, they're actually making like a hoverboard based on the, uh... The Back to the Future movies. Uh, using the way you would expect, uh, magnets and stuff like that, but it's extremely, extremely expensive to produce. Um, <laughs> you have to be rich and lucky to own one. And they only really work on certain tracks where, uh, you, know, you need an electromagnet to actually float. 
okay, we're gonna do a speed run in that level. And I'm going to skip the dance. I'm sorry, Crash. Alright, let's see if we can do it, guys. Let's go. Plant food in 1 minute and 24 seconds. Alright. I didn't bother hitting the checkpoint, by the way, because I think my timer is reset if I just uh, if I just die and go back to the beginning. Well, and I'm playing for me. <laughs> yeah, here we go, we're making better time this time. Don't get cocky! Died. Much dead. Mm. Phase through the platform. Mm, just sort of. Yeah, it's worthy. Worthy. I was trying to readjust my thumb, and I kind of just ran straight into the water. That was my bad. You gotta make that platform. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, oh! Huh? Okay, we just just face through the waterfall. Okay, we got health insurance now. We are unstoppable. Called it. <laughs> mm -mm, stop by box. <sighs> Burn on my lives. Ugh, almost had invincibility there. That would have been sweet. Mm, that was gonna happen. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. Gold gem? What? I did not expect that, but okay. We're gonna get out of here before the time expires. <laughs> Gold gem? Okay. I'm fine with that. I thought it was just a regular old gem, but no, the gold gem. All right, guys. Well, that's just going to about do it for this episode. Uh, if you liked it, like this video, please leave a like. Or if you dislike, leave a dislike. Uh, please comment. Rate the video. Um, it helps my channel grow. It helps me know if there's anything I can improve on. If, you know, we're always looking for improvement. So. Until next time, guys. Sooner or later, we will get back to this. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Billy Mays is born. Alright, we'll try this one. Poplar wall. Wait, no, look, we got the. Stop hitting me with missiles. <laughs> I think I guess it's only you. <laughs> and I just processed something else. The next box they need to go So you win. Oh wow. <laughs> oh. oh, I knocked over the mic. <laughs>